Ah, it is B E A beautiful. Guys, oh, welcome back. Welcome back to our arc. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Every single time. Welcome back to our Jurassic Arc series. I did it, baby. I did it. I did it. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Uh, I've been completing our wall. It is now, well, I wouldn't say it's completed, but uh, we cover we finally cut off one part of the map. Uh, a part of the map where we've never had a single threat from, but um, it looks cool anyways. <laughs> it literally serves no purpose whatsoever, but I really, really like it. The only part that's like kind of upsetting me about it all is this little spot down here. And it's, and it's mainly just my OCD. Like every other part, every other one of these structures has like a massive, like it goes underground by like a long shot. And then you get these little corner pieces and they look like this. How could you do this to me, Mr. Rad? How could you do this to me? But either way, it uh, it really came together nicely. Uh, I'm still going to go and run it over there. I don't know what we're going to do because I don't completely want to knock off the castle. It'd be cool to kind of like have that accessible to our little Jurassic Park. But uh, all in all, really, really awesome. And uh, I've gotten like thrown in some little doorways that we can get through. Um, and you can like... I mean, that wasn't part of the plan. I was, I was going to try and glide upwards, but I guess that fell through. Yeah, we got these tiny little doorways here. Whoop! We can go and slip through. We can see through. I like that because, I don't know, it doesn't like close you off from the world or anything like that. Like, you look at these big old walls up here and you're like, oh no, I'm enclosed. I'm, an, I'm a dinosaur in the dinosaur enclosure. Oh no. But then, no, because we got all the grading. It feels like we're a little bit of a part of the world. And the dinosaurs outside, they want to come in because this is where all the fun is. This is happy time feel over here. And anyway, <laughs> we got our big gate here too. Um, behemoth, regular CDW gate. So we can roam in and out of our base and into the swamplands if that's what we want to do. And we can, of course, whoop. Okay, nope, that, that didn't want to listen. We can, of course, shut it down. Awesome. I'm I'm really stoked at how this has all turned out. But uh, today we're going on an adventure. Today I'm going to own my mistakes. And I'm going to admit that I'm a dummy. Who was that? That was little baby Zilla. Man, baby Zilla got a real mega daddy roar. Anyways. Um, so, I've been getting a lot of comments. A lot of uh, through, through the videos. Discord. Twitter everywhere about these darn dart frogs okay they're like amazing torpor dealing dinosaurs i originally did go for a look for them in fact i cut it out of one of our videos um just because it was a bit i don't know it just it just seemed a little bit pointless because we didn't actually find any of them um i think i kind of included like a little clip of it but we didn't actually include the whole thing uh well it turns out we do in fact have dart frogs in our world they're just in very very specific locations so we're gonna go and try and tame one up today hopefully if all goes according to plan we can find one of these little poisonous cretins and uh we can use it to help us knock out other dinosaurs, basically, and we can save our darts and ammunition. Uh, in fact, we've got 20 darts remaining in our little assault rifle down here, which is probably, hopefully, going to be the right amount. I mean, we can only hope. That's all we can really hope for. I bet you we run out and we're going to have to craft some more, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a look for one of these poison dart frogs. Apparently, these guys are amazing. Apparently, they deal a lot of torpidity to dinosaurs. Uh, so, if they do achieve that, then I will be more than happy to tame them up. I guess... We better bring us some taming supplies, right? We're going to need us at least one V-Day candy. Um, is this, this is powered, right? This is powered. Uh, and then do frogs... I assume frogs are going to eat berries. So I might need to actually go and collect some. But that's okay. Well, actually, no. I don't need to collect some. Track Wazowski over here should have a ton of them on him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. So let's go, RG boy. Let's go. I'm going to take you out for this little roaming spree. Uh, I don't... Okay, got a little bit stuck there. I actually don't know who the best option to fly is, to be honest, because our RG here, we got to hop off, obviously. The Griffin, we can, like, shoot down from the sky, but our Quetzal, we can kind of do both. Um, the reason I'm taking the RG, though, is because we can pick up a frog if we really, really want to. Also, is that another one, or is that the one that I destroyed? Nope, that's another one. That's another one. These things are like popping up left, right, and center. And just as we head on over to this area, I just want to uh, talk to you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions. People asking what's going to happen to our Jurassic Arc series when Genesis comes out. Uh, well, I believe when this video is scheduled for, Genesis will have released already. I'm actually recording this before Genesis drops. That way I've got the video ready to go once Genesis drops. Um, so Genesis probably released already, unless it got delayed, which it might have. I don't know. It's kind of like a 50-50 chance. Uh, but I do plan to continue both series side by side. I have no idea if we'll 
you know, because we got such a good track record of doing that. I'm really, really good at running two series, like, side by side alongside one another. Um, I am joking, of course. Whenever I try and do two series at once, uh, one of them always seems to suffer. And I doubt it's going to be Genesis, but I'm going to try my best, guys. I'm going to try with all my might to make sure that this series does not get abandoned. It does not get left behind. It does not get, yeah, any of the above. But, yeah, he's going to have to bear with me because, uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens, I guess. Anyways, we're looking for these little dart frogs. I actually don't know exactly where they're found, but I know that they do spawn up here somewhere. So I'm going to have a little bit of a scout around. Hopefully, we can come across one of these little buggers. But if not, that's okay. We'll just That is an awesome-looking wyvern. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, but, yeah, if we can't find one out here, I know another place that we can find one just as easily, hopefully. Also, is that a... What is this guy? Because he looks really cool. Is that a Rex? Oh, it is a Rex. A big old red Rex. All right, I'm going to... I want the DNAs. I want the genomes. Thanks, buddies. Thanks, guys. Did I get some... No, I didn't get any genomes for that. Oh, that's really upsetting. How did I not get any genomes? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's keep on searching. Let's keep on looking. I don't even know if I'm in the right spot, but I'm sure sooner or later we'll stumble across something. We got some leather wings out here. I'm going to tame up another one of those. We got some carbos. We got some dilos. We got some faomias, but no little froggies. I will be shocked if there's froggies up here because I've spent a lot of time searching this area. We've tamed up a bunch of dinosaurs in this area, but my sources tell me that this is a froggy place. Am I dreaming? Or is that something I don't... That's a fr No, that's, that's that's not a frog. They're little... What are those? Are they little tech fish? They are tech saber-toothed salmon. You got to be kidding me. This tech mod has everything. They have literally a tech version of everything. They've even thought of the little fish. That's funny as. All right. Well, I'm not finding any froggies. Sad. But what are you going to do? Is there like a little hidden cave or something? I don't know. All I know is the map that I looked at had frogs in this general area. So I don't know if it's meant to be up here. Maybe they're underwater. I should have brought my, uh, should have brought old trophy. He could have, oh, okay. Yep, of course I jumped straight into you, don't I? All right, I'm really bad at fighting piranhas, especially with the sword. I'm really not a good sword fighter. I'm all about the pike life. The pike life is the life for me. Oh, actually I can sit right. Where's that little sweet spot? Oh, normally there's like a really, what is that? A steth... A st it's like a little hammerhead shark. Oh! Oh! What? Hold on a second. Giant dart frog. Oh, he's going to die. No, don't die, you little banana. Oh, we got to help him. He's going to die to the shark. Oh, we actually found one. I was looking at the shark guy. I, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the little froggy dude. Oh my gosh. This is game changer. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Oh. Piranha? Come on, buddy. I got bigger things to worry about. Yeah. What you gonna do? Stethacanthus. Stethacanthus. Boom. Give me that fish meat. All right. Okay. I saw a frog. Where did it go? Where did it go? It like it must have swum away for its life, but it's like nearly fallen asleep already. I even brought little baby uh, dinosaur traps, bear traps, whatever they're called, just to help us out. Is he up here? Where did it go? I, did it die? It might have died. It might it might have actually been eaten alive. I don't know. Oh. Oh, they exist. They actually exist. Unless it just, like, it might have just swum away for its life. I should just jump on. Oh, I don't know what I should do right now, to be honest. I don't know. I, I we, we completely accidentally found that. I, I don't even know if it's the only one. There's a bunch of yeah, ankylos, raptors, razor. There's a lot of raptors, saber tooths. I always feel weird about finding saber tooths in this area. They just don't look normal out here. But what happened to my frog? He looked awesome. He was like glowing green and everything. Oh man. I fear that our little froggy friend has died. Oh well, we'll find another one. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who? Oh, there he is. How's that a giant dart frog? He's like a little mini, mini frog. Uh, I probably got to be careful because if I, if I do this wrong, where did he go? There he is. I feel like he's going to put me to sleep. 
He's tiny. All right. I need, I'm going to need you to sit still. Uh, I'm probably wasting good opportunities right here, aren't I? Oh, don't waste your darty banana. Uh, how do you, is there any way I can get him into this trap? <laughs> I didn't even know if the trap could trap him. You know what? I think I've just got to... Where is he? Can I shoot this gun underwater? Probably not. Oh, man. Oh, let's try. No, I can't use it. I can't shoot it. We got to be out of the water. So I got to wait for our little froggy buddy here to get out of there. That is the same one too. I thought the frog I was chasing was green. Interesting. Okay. Well, the other option is we use trank arrows. But it's going to take a lot more. I, I guess we could shoot him with an arrow because he can use these in the water. And then we can try and lure him up into our little trap. Let's just go for... Oh! Is he running away from me? He looks like he's running, doesn't he? He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's charging straight at me. All right. All right. I just got to keep eye contact. Not that I have to, but it's going to... Well, as I say it, we turn around. All right. The trap is right in front of this rock. Is he coming? Come on, little froggy. This is why I wanted to keep my eyes on him because he's so small. He's so a little evasive little guy. Come here, buddy. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> Ignore that. You didn't see nothing. Well, how did I hit that first shot? That first shot was such a Hail Mary. And then the following shots. Oh, my God. I'm trying to... I'm, I think I'm getting too predictive here. Oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right. There's the trap. There's the trap. That's it. Run straight into it. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. He's going to put me to sleep. Okay. We probably... Oh, we did it. We did it. Yes. 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 Okay. Nice. Oh, I was so worried we're going to get... Yeah. I'm about to fall asleep. Oh, our anti-torpor thing got used. Yeah. We were about to fall asleep. Thankfully, our little implant saved us. But we've done it. We've actually done it. Now, what do these guys actually like to eat? Oh. Oh, it's a regular kibble eater. Okay. All right. I only need like three or four of those. All right. I'm going to quickly make a little trip back home because obviously that's what we got to do. Um, I'm going to go make some kibble, I think. I think I've got... I, I should have what I need to get the kibble for this guy. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. I didn't think... I didn't think it'd go that according to plan. Uh, so we need raptor eggs to get this thing going. Uh, what did I spend all my blue kibbles on? And I'm pretty sure we got the veggies for it. So I just need a cooking machine. Which we got already. Cooking machine. Cooking pot. I got candies in here too. Valentine's Day candies. Dine oh, that's right. Because you need three of them for the skins that we wanted. Doesn't matter. Besides the point. I can't actually... Who's... Who's eating right now? Such loud eaters. Um... I need a, an S plus cooking pot, I think. At some stage, I'm going to have to get a proper, a proper cooker. But uh, we can't really do that until we get a proper base. Anyways, as usual, we're just going to place things everywhere in this base. Uh, and I'm only going to need like four of these. Oh, we're going to need water as well, aren't we? Cooked beef jerky. Can I get like five of those? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's do it. Let us do this thing. I should have water in here, right? Oh, that's where our little... I knew I had one of these somewhere. Oh, dang. We're leaving all this stuff over here? Are you crazy, Miola? You're crazy. Doesn't matter. All right. Oh, wait. No, that's right. Forgot. 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 They don't fill up like that for some reason. I don't know why. I I, I honestly... I do not... Maybe maybe we need a proper water jar or something to, to, get, to get it to work. I don't know. Doesn't matter. But let us get this water... Let us throw it. Nope, that's the wrong one. Let us throw my... <laughs> what even is this base right now? It's disgusting. I, it, it like, it's so upsetting to my... I don't have OCD or nothing, but it's so upsetting to look at. Just, it is so displeasing. Uh, zero items transferred. I beg to differ. Did I not just grab a bunch of wood? Pull it across, baby. There we go. Light it up. Crafted foods. Hey, there we go. Let's get the kibble. Let's get the kibble. At some stage, we're going to have to get superior kibble too, but uh, I don't know when we'll do that. All right. Awesome. Five kibbles completed. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. This is good. No, things don't normally go this according to plan. You know what I mean? 
And the best part about this is once we get this little guy leveled up, hopefully we can just deal a ton of torpor to everything. So uh, we're going to do this correctly, okay? I'm going to go V-Day candy. And then I'm going to pop that in there and drop... Ah! We're going to be quick about it. Otherwise, that torpor kind of... Not the torpor, but the taming effectiveness drops a little bit. And just like that, the giant dark frog has been tamed. And unfortunately, I need a saddle for him. But that's okay. Nice. 100%. 100, 100, I can't even speak properly today. 100% taming effectiveness. Leveled out to be 809, which is a really, really nice level. Um, I mean, the only way that that could have improved, I honestly cannot. I can't glide with this glider. I feel like we're going to need some gliding practice or something soon. But, um... I legit can't... I can't glide with it. I don't know why I brought my RG in the end, because I'm not even going to carry you home. But let's just... Uh, let's just teleport. Take a quick little teleportation back to base. I'm going to try and get a saddle for our little friend here, and then we're going to see what he's capable of. Uh, yeah. So, what actually saddle do you need? There is no dart frog. Is there just a frog saddle? No, there is not. I assume it's going to be a Bizzle Buffo saddle. Sure. Bill? Where do you craft a piece of beef saddle? There we go. Alright. Let's get one of those. You make really weird footsteps, by the way, little guy. I love... Hey, there we go. He makes... He's, he's so weird looking. He's so weird. He looks so poisoned. Like, if you were to come across a frog, never mind the size of the frog, but if you were to encounter this little guy in real life, you'd probably run the other direction, right? I feel like whenever you get, like, such, like, luminant, very, like, saturated colors on a creature, you just, like, like, that thing is gonna poison me. At least that's what I think, anyways. So, how does this thing work? Uh, we got left click. We got right click. Oh, he drops little fart bombs. And that's it. I see. That's why people have been calling it a fart frog, right? Let's go and what this thing's capable of i guess uh he doesn't have a lot of health which is a little bit concerning um movement speed melee damage they seem okay i was gonna put our first level into my in fact i should have chested out how much damage you can do like base but that's fine what's this stego up to all right so if i punch you oh the melee attack deals torpor too interesting it deals a lot of torpor about a thousand of it and it's still going that's like the equivalent of one of our one of our base darts, by the way. That's really good. I don't know where he's going. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to him. He keeps running around. He's still increasing as well. Two thousand torpor. That's two darts worth. Oh, this guy's gonna this guy's gonna replace the entire reason we we brought in this upgrade station mod. Two K. Two K. Can he do it? Nah, it's gonna stop at one point nine. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then if I drop my fart attack, it dealt even more. It deals like half. Oh, double. Sorry, not half. Dude, this guy is ridiculously overpowered. Oh, I don't know about overpowered, but he powerful. He really powerful. Oh, baby. Oh, this guy's, this guy's game changer. I'm sorry for not listening to you guys sooner. I'm sorry for not listening. We are about to change the game. Uh, I just need levels. So I'm going to actually have to kill some creatures to get this guy leveled up a little bit. That's fine. We got to do what we got to do. 7,000 health. Probably not a great place to start, is it? Ah, no, 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 definitely. Oh, but then again, I can just, I can knock you out, can't I? Can I just put you to sleep? Drop, drop, drop a couple little fart bombs in his face. Oh, we got some insects over here as well. Do I create cementing paste out of them? Who knows? All right, I'm trying to do my fart bomb. It wasn't working. That's okay. Yeah. Give me them levels, baby. Oh, yeah. This little guy. This is like David versus Goliath. The tiny little froggy. When I took down one of the biggest creatures in the game. Fight bomb. <laughs> I love this. What would make this exceptionally better? Even better than what it currently is. Is if we uh, if we managed... Oh, wow. We just got a lot of levels. Um, was if we were able to get cementing paste out of insects. Which I don't know if we are able to. I'm trying to harvest it. It's not happening. Yeah. Looks like we can't harvest. That's fine. I don't need this guy to harvest. He's just got to knock creatures out. Uh, I'm kind of stuck under the body of this big guy. Dude. Eight levels. Okay. All right. We've got to get health up a little bit. At least to 10,000. The only downside is 
I need to find a way to heal him up. I gotta get some sweet veggie cakes. That's what they're good for, right? Well, good night, sweet Tyranodon. Thanks for the experience, little guy. Oh, this is this is amazing. This is amazing. The the possibilities are endless. We can knock out anything we like. Jurassic Park Stego. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? Oh. Oh, actually, I gotta be careful. I forgot these guys break out legs and stuff. Come back! I'm not done with you yet. Yeah! Oh, yeah, I can't harvest it. We gotta be careful where these dinosaurs, like, land on our bodies. Also, unfortunately, I think when... Oh! Gosh! Eh! I thought he's... Yep, he's chasing me, right? That's why you came over to say hello? I guess not. It's all good. Another level. All right, cool, cool, cool. This is amazing. I should go and put my kibble back in my fridge because right now it's going, it's just going to waste. It's about to spoil and everything. Not ideal. So the only downside about this guy is it seems that he can't harvest dinosaurs, which means when we take down Jurassic Park dinosaurs, we're unfortunately not collecting the genomes that we uh that we need. We need genomes and we need a lot of them. So I guess we got to remember that. Also, he's very, very slow once you've broken a couple of legs. So I think I'm going to just take him back home. We definitely got to get him leveled up. I'm just trying to think about the best way of doing that. Maybe I'll take him down to our original base. Maybe if we take him down there. Because there's much weaker dinosaurs in this sort of area. Like this guy, for example, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. So annoying that I can't harvest them, though. What do we got over here? I see a little dialer guy. Oh, it's Pegamastax. Even better. Even better. I can't think of a better dinosaur to kill right now. Take a fart bomb to the face. <laughs> Just killed a dinosaur with my farts. Oh, yeah. That's what dreams are made of. That is what they are made of. Um, What do we got? Carbon nemesis. Take a fart. Nope. Couldn't, couldn't give him a fart bomb, but that's fine. I love that he just knocks out everything. I I get it now, guys. I get it. You know, I'm a little bit slower. I'm a little bit, you know. Oh, gosh. I'm crushed. I can't get out of here. Oh, no. Not even a fart bomb will save me from this one. <gasps> no. Oh, you better not, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Oh, he stole my... Of everything. That is, like, my most expensive and treasured item. How dare you? How dare you try and take my train rabble? Get away from me, you piece of trash. Not on my watch. Alrighty. Well, one more level up our sleeve. This guy's going to take some time to level up. But it's all good. It's really, really good. Awesome. That's so good. I'm taking him back home, though. Uh, we... I don't know. I probably don't even have to level him up that much. He would just level up over time anyways. I think what I do got to get, though... Oh, my gosh. This base is so overcrowded. What we are going to need soon is a... Um... What are the... Alistrosaurus. I feel like Alistrosaurus would help us, like, in spades right now because they boost the level or the experience gain of the dinosaurs around them. Um, and it means we could just activate him and he could level up... Well, I mean, slowly, but he could level up anyway the dinosaurs that are, like, in our base while we're away and whatnot. Um, I'm also kind of ready to pull down these walls and stuff. In fact, why did I use this? Oh, that gate's too wide. It won't fit in my little doorway part right there. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pull down these walls. Because, I don't know. It would, it would, I mean, I don't know. What's it protecting us from is what I'm, is what I'm wondering. Now that we've got this big old wall up, what we could actually do is we could pull down this whole little area and we could almost build it as an extension of the big wall. So the big wall kind of spans along the side of the, the small wall. And then, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Basically, it gives us more room to build, is what I, I guess I'm saying. Should we do it, though? Because once I pull this down, I don't want to be rebuilding it. I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to do exactly that. I'm going to do that. Let's go. Let's pull this baby down. It's time, guys. It's time. You're all free. You're all free at last. I'm just, I'm just happy to have a little bit more building space or space for my dinosaurs now. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's what it's meant to be like. Nice. Uh, so what I'm thinking we do is I might replace one of these walls with a cross section. 
Uh, I gotta go come over here to craft that though, don't I? Oh, I'm so excited to clear up this base a little bit. It is absolutely hideous right now. So I need a cross. Uh, CDW. Oh, what's it called? I thought it's called a cross piece. Corner, not the corner. X part. Okay, so it's a cross. Yeah, you get it. Whatever it is. <laughs> we just called it the wrong thing. So what I'm thinking is if we place this in that little cross section, then we can expand it into... Well, but yeah, we can just use our little gratings and whatnot to go and do the rest. I'm also going to craft a few corner pieces because I like corner pieces. Um, and then I'm going to get some... I think, I think that'll be okay for now, to be honest. Just one of these cross pieces would be good, though. In fact, I could... Okay, hold on. Let me try something else. We could actually get like this. Uh, maybe. Because, yeah, look. So you can kind of... You can overlap these. It kind of gets a little bit weird when you're building with them. But you can do it. Um, but do we want to? I mean, I don't see why not. We can do it like that. Or we can place the cross piece as I was talking. But the, the cross piece would sit here instead of this wall. It would kind of sit like that. But then it kind of looks silly because of the barbed wire. And it doesn't have barbed wire on it. So I think I'm just going to do what I just did. I've got to replace... What was there? This one. I can get you in there. There we go. Cool. Nice. And then I can use... But now I'm just going to place some grating. But I don't want the grating there. All right. Oh, actually, we can slope it up a little bit as well. Huh. Actually, I have one of these parts handy because I've got my little chest here of parts that we haven't just used yet. Cool. So we can do that. In fact, just to like make this like even more beautiful looking, I think I can go like this. Hold on. No. Nope. I kind of want to like stick it on that same spot, but get it curved in the other direction. I think we're getting a little bit too crazy. All right, we don't need to do none of that. Cool. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to go and bring this out here. The only downside, as I was saying, is... Hmm, I can get rid of this. This is the downside I was talking about. Well, not the downside as such, but we can... Some of these, like, slope. So we can go like that. And see how it goes up a little bit? And then it probably looks a little bit better. I could slope it again. But yeah, you get the idea. And this, my friends, is why I don't build on camera. Because I get so, like, particular with how I like things that it's just... It's, it's just a really... <laughs> unproductive I don't I don't get much done for those of you who have tuned into my streams in the past where I've tried to be like I'm gonna do a build stream uh, they never go well ever I never get anything done and then like we pretty much just sit there and talk for like a bunch of hours it gets a little bit terrible it's very terrible as a matter of fact but there we go that's kind of what I was going for um the only reason I'm doing the slopes is because Otherwise, when you put a big old gate in, they don't really sit the way you want them to. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work right. Um, so, for example, if I, you know, if I was to just go and place this, um, it's it retracts beneath the ground. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. It's meant to like sit just above the ground, but this one kind of goes a little bit too low. I'll say that's got placed in the wrong spot. So what I could do is I could ramp that up a little bit further. And then we can place the gate in. So, obviously, we're going to have to move a bunch of stuff. Like our windmill here. Wind turbine, you're in the... Actually, why am I doing this? We can just get like that. Wind turbine's in the way. All of our fa uh, furnaces are in the way. But now, this thing should sit just above. Nope, it's still just beneath. Ah, you know what? That's fine. It still looks kind of cool. Otherwise, uh, I could go and replace this with a different item. Oh, man. Like I said, I'm a really, really bad builder. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just so particular when it comes to little silly things. I don't even know why. There is no reason to be. So now I'll show you exactly. I hope I didn't wheel some my dinosaurs. Now we're good. Uh, now, if I go and place this in. Oh, now it's going to be too high. Yeah. And this is the other thing that ends up happening. I end up reverting what I've just done over and over and over again. Because, hey, turns out it was better the first time we did it. Whoop. Let's go and pick up all of these furnaces. Is there a quick way to pick up bags? 
I think there is. I think there's literally a gun that does this instead of us having to do it one by one. But guess what? I'm not smart enough to go and do that. I do things the hard way. That's what that's... Yeah, I, I feel like my point is made. This is why I don't build on camera. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to watch me going and picking up bags and picking down, putting down, picking up, putting down the same structure over and over and over again. Uh, but this is kind of what I ended up coming up with. I think, I think, I think I'm happy with how it ended up. You at least see the bottom lip of this gate and you can just go whoop and press E on it down there now. Instead of having to like go all the way to the edges to do it. Um, and then you can just like, I don't know. You can, whatever, whatever. At the end of the day, dude, at the end of the day, we're going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to put some better planning into this because right now it's going absolutely horrendously. I, whatever, okay, whatever. I'm going to go ditch these little parts over here because this is my little storage bin of things that I don't know what better to do with them. Let me put my little halo back on because I'm not feeling angelic enough right this second. <laughs> And I think we're going to call it a day. It's been a good one. It's been an awesome one. We have changed our taming game 100%. Look at the foggy skies. Yeah, this day's, this, day's, this day's taking a turn for the worst. Froggy boy. I'm super duper excited to have you here. By the way, any naming suggestions for our little old friend here, please let me know. Oh, great. And there's the rain. Well, what better of a time to end this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.